British Association of Perinatal Medicine. British Association of Perinatal Medicine, known as BAPM, is a charitable organization that was founded in Bristol in 1976 that is most notable for being a pressure group to advance the standards of perinatal care within the United Kingdom by a dedicated corps of professional physicians who are accredited by examination. Early History In 1972, Donald Court, who would later become president of the British Pediatric Association, and Tony Jackson produced a booklet that was called Pediatrics in the 70s that for the first time advanced the idea that perinatal pediatrics would be subspeciality of medicine, and progress was slow to recognize it as such. BAPM as an idea started in 1974, when a pediatrician Peter M. Dunn wrote a leader for The Lancet called The Price of Perinatal Neglect. In the 1970s, the care of newborn infants was considered dire, and only after their registration by their parents, when they were six weeks old, did they become NHS patients. Combined with many others, problems like pediatricians who were single-handed, underfunded and distributed across large areas of the population, with the result that perinatal mortality in the UK was five times higher than it need have been and that as many newborn infants died in the first three days of life as in the whole of the remainder of childhood. When the Lancet article was published, it aroused the interest of the government and the Department of Health contacted the British Pediatric Association to investigate the matter. In 1975, June Lloyd, acting for the government, wrote to Dunn to ask him for help in finding all the pediatricians who were specifically working, that is caring for newborn babies in the UK after Dunn wrote to all the medical universities and maternity hospitals in the United Kingdom, to all pediatricians who were spending more than 60% of their time with newborn children and collected 20 people in total, he decided to try and advance an idea to provide help, wherever he could. Dunn first approached the British Pediatric Association and consulted the President Donald Court who encouraged Dunn to organize the small group. Dunn also spoke with Roy Meadow who advised Dunn on problems he would face to establishing the association, including accusations of empire building from certain pediatricians who would be excluded from his group, including senior pediatricians who provided leadership in neonatal medicine and were prominent members of the neonatal society. When Dunn approached the neonatal society, they declined to help. Dunn sent a letter to the 20 people he had identified and invited them to a meeting at the BPA in York that was to be held to initiate BAPM as a pressure group. At the time, Roy Meadow posted a notice seeking members who were interested in the care of the newborn with the hospital and university in York. Unfortunately, there was no significant progress during the abortive meeting as Dunn was looking for those who were actually facing the problems of providing a, a neonatal intensive care service. As there were none there, the meeting closed. Dunn then decided to write to all the 20 people requesting a second time that they attend a neonatal symposium in Bristol in 1976. This meeting occurred and the British Pediatric Perinatal Group, the foreigner to BAPM, was formed as a pressure group. Dunn's initial idea for the association was that it would work as a twin group, alongside obstetrics, that is the twin being a new British obstetric perinatal group. However, this never happened. Dunn approached several colleagues who were specialists in obstetrics who were initially enthused by the idea but were subsequently dissuaded by the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. The common view of obstetrics at the time was that all gynecologists were already perinatologists. On top of this, the Royal College of Obstetrics and Gynecology did not agree to the BPA being affiliated to the college. Recognition Dunn commenced the process of gaining formal recognition of the subject of perinatal pediatrics and enable formal examinations to be held for physicians seeking to gain a speciality in perinatal pediatrics that is a training program from the Royal Colleges and the British Pediatric Association BPA. In 1977, Dunn approached the BPA to begin this process of formal recognition of the perinatal pediatrics group. In conversation with the BPA, they replied that neonatology was likely to remain in the domain of general pediatricians and therefore perinatal or neonatal pediatrics would not be recognized as a subspeciality. For much of the 1980s, neither the BP nor the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists felt that a countrywide, coordinated service for specialist neonatology and high-risk obstetrics were of much use. Indeed, for much of the decade, the differentiation in obstetric and neonatal care units for those offering complex care and those offering care at the local level had made little progress within the UK. By the end of the 1980s, with many therapeutic treatments being introduced, there was a slow dunning of recognition that there was a place for specialist neonatology and neonatal centers, although the majority of neonatal care was still being delivered by general pediatricians who worked outside specialist centers treating both pediatric and neonatal patients, and it was unlikely the situation would have changed without many new doctors coming into the profession as the decade passed. First quarter century in 1981, Dunn created an executive committee and a chairman position was announced to better address working practices, often meeting in his house in Bristol. In 1982, Peter Tizard gave the first annual founders lecture, who in his lecture pointed out that it should be an appointed president, not a chairman. 
At that time, Dunn also registered the group as a charity and changed the name from Perinatal Group to British Association of Perinatal Pediatrics. Dunn became the first president and Harold Gamsu the honorary secretary. In 1982, the chairman of the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists Working Party, Charlie Whitfield, suggested that the group should be called the British Association of Perinatal Medicine. This was finally accomplished by Dunn in 1987. A training program was created in 1982 for those looking for a career in perinatal pediatrics by the British Pediatric Association and Royal College of Physicians. This process took six years and was helped by Donald Court, who published the report called Fit for the Future in 1976 that recognized the high mortality rate of perinatal mortality, and by the Shore report published in 1979 minus 1980 that highlighted the neglect of perinatal medicine in the country. One of the most important advances for Baffin was the publication of the report, called the Kerner Report in 1984, led by the National Health Service NHS reform Edith Kerner. The most important recommendations from Baffin's perspective from the report was that in future all infants should be recognized at birth as a patient, as well as defining a data set for the baby as well as the mother, in part to move the NHS into the digital age. Dunn Perinatal Library on 18 January 2012, the association opened a library with books that were provided from Peter Dunn's own personal collection. The library's aims are to support the learning and information needs of the BAPM's members, students, and staff. Presidents The following are the past presidents, 1981. Peter Dunn, 1984, Cliff Robertson, 1987, Forrester Copper, 1990, Richard Cook, 1993, Garth McClough, 1996, Phil Steve, first obstetrics president, 1999, Andrew Wilkinson, 2002, Malcolm Chizik, 2005, Neil Mother, 2008, David Field, 2011, Brian Gill, 2014, Alan Fenton, 2017, Gurpy Menon.